Hey, it's Luna and welcome to my channel. So today I'll be showing you how to make your wardrobe work for you instead of against you. Let's go! I do know we all have different wardrobes, but I'm going to share some tips to hopefully get you going. Okay, before we get into the fun portion, which is the organization portion, at least that's fun for me, I really want to mention that it's important that you get enough light into your wardrobe so you can see what you're picking out every day. That you, I mean, I have a lot of all black clothes, so for me it's important to uh, differentiate between the items that I'm not... That I know what I have, that I see what I have, that I can visualize my outfits and that I get some new ideas every now and then because you can actually see what I have. If you have a built-in wardrobe like mine, I actually have three of these double doors and this one and the middle one I use the most. The one on the corner is my dark corner and I keep my out-of-season clothes there as well as some occasion wear. So I actually have like two main wardrobe areas that I choose from, my clothes. Um, it's also because the most light enters this wardrobe. My Wardrobe is pretty far back, so it's still light is needed to, for me to see and differentiate between all my black items. If you have a built-in wardrobe and you can't move it around, maybe you are stuck in a dark corner, maybe see if you can get one of those uh, light fixtures inside of your wardrobe. I know there exist automatic ones as well. Maybe that's something you could look into. If your wardrobe is not built in, my sister for one doesn't have a built in wardrobe. She has her wardrobe in a very dark corner of her room and she moved it around. Her bed is now in another area just because she couldn't see well in her wardrobe. And now she has like really easy access and can see her clothes well. My sister wears even more black than I do, so for her it's also really vital to see what she has. So, first of all, try to make sure you can inside your wardrobe so you see what you have and you see what you can work with. With wardrobe organization it's really important to find a system that works for you. Okay, up close and personal. I actually haven't organized my wardrobe so what you're seeing is what you're getting. It's uh, I haven't organized it since then. It's really easy for me to keep my wardrobe organized as well. So I organize my wardrobe from thinnest to thickest. So here are my um, top halves, here are my dresses and here are my bottom halves. So what happens is, okay, I look at weather forecasts is it a warm day? Then I can look at my tin blouses. Is it a colder? That's very nice and cute. <sighs> then if it's a colder day, I know I have to look here because these are thicker. These are more warm. Same with my blazers. These blazers are a bit more thin and these ones are a bit more thick. Same with my dresses. Over here are more thinner ones and at the back end we have for one a wool dress. So I always organize my wardrobe the same way. So I'm going to get rid of this now and do this for summer. I know some people would wear a vest like this for summer as outerwear. I for one would not. For me this is way too thick. I know I wouldn't wear this in summer so this is going actually my miscellaneous wardrobe. I have only a few things actually in storage. The Most of the items go in the miscellaneous wardrobe because I just think it keeps them better preserved and I actually have the room to do that. Same with this. Some people might keep this for summer. For me, I wouldn't wear this. I love this for winter so much. I've I've worn I've worn this so much. Mm. Also miscellaneous. Okay, let's go. Maybe you've caught on me saying this before, but this wardrobe actually is my main wardrobe, my daily wardrobe. So on the far back in that dark corner, I have my miscellaneous wardrobe. And the reason that that's miscellaneous as well as occasion wear is on a daily basis, I don't, I mean, I'd say my casual clothing style is pretty overdressed, but there's just items that I don't need to see on a daily basis. So my daily basis wardrobe consists of outfits that I can wear to the office or with friends. In fall and winter, I feel like there's not as much of a differentiating factor between this, but in summer it can sometimes vary because I'm not going to wear short skirts to work. Um, so it's going to be interesting how we're going to do this, the summer one. I also find that a wardrobe organization moment is a really important moment to be honest with yourself because there's makeup on this. So I have to put this in the laundry. <laughs> okay, these skirts I really have to show you. So this one from Zara is this satin skirt and this one from Naked has like a little slit. And these are two skirts that I wear in every single season because I can wear this in summer uh, without anything underneath and in winter I can wear tights underneath. And in summer this fabric is actually feels really quite cool because of this satin material and I love these skirts so much. These are in my wardrobe all the time. They're so convenient, so easy to grab. So make your wardrobe work for your lifestyle. It's really important 
to be realistic and think am I going to wear this on a daily basis is this applicable with my lifestyle or is it something that I'd wish to wear in an ideal scenario I honestly have a confession to make for a while I really disliked summer because of the clothes I am more of a fall winter girly because I really enjoy wearing boots I enjoy wearing all black but that actually has changed this year because I've been curating my summer wardrobe since January of course the last couple of months I found a bit more because there's just been more um, popping up everywhere but ever since I've been curating my summer wardrobe just like I curate my wardrobe the rest of the year I found so many amazing pieces and I can't wait to do an amazing summer curated haul collection. I'm so excited for it because I feel like this is the best, this is gonna be the best summer outfit wise. It has to be, it has to be. I'm like really happy and excited actually for summer and to wear something cute instead of wearing something just because it's warm and I need something just because and not looking last minute actually has paid off so yeah, I'm actually really excited this time around for summer. I actually find it incredibly hard to film this because I'm standing with my back to you half of the time, which is not very, very um, nice hospitality of me, but I don't know who else I should do this, you know? Honestly, seeing this dress makes me so excited because I got it last year. I think it's the first ever green dress that I got. It looks really bright, I know. Um, and I didn't know how good green looks on me until I tried this and it's a bold color but every photo I have every video I have with this dress on I just feel like it looks so great on my skin and my hair it really does wonders for me so I'm really excited so that's also a good thing about transitioning your wardrobe you can fall back in love with the pieces that you already have you don't have to buy anything new if you have you know have if you put items away and then they come back again, you can fall back in love with them again. You can back, get back excited um, and feel fondly about them. So yeah, um, I'm really, really excited. Like I've said 20 times already, but I'm thrilled. Next up, I really want to talk about getting rid of clothing or whether or not to get rid of clothing. So I've had this dress for quite some time and I haven't worn it last year. And I know some people have the rule of getting rid of an item when they haven't worn it a season or a year. Personally, I am not a fan of getting rid of clothes quickly, especially if you look at trend cycles. Things always come back in, in eventually <laughs> come back in fashion. Um, personally, I curate my wardrobe, so I don't really look at trend cycles. I just look at my mood. Last year, apparently I wasn't in a mood, but this year I can't actually wait to wear this again. I think it looks really cute. Such a happy, breezy, summery dress, which makes me, I don't know, it just looks like a fun dress to run around with, um, have a picnic in. It looks lovely. If I would have followed everyone's rules of just getting rid after not wearing the year, I would have gotten rid of this. Um, and I'm happy I'm not. So I really don't like getting rid of clothes too quickly. Um, if it really doesn't fit you anymore, you can consider it. Even then, I have kept clothes because weight also can fluctuate <laughs> sometimes you gain a bit of weight sometimes you lose a bit of weight so if you have some storage space sometimes it's really good to keep holding on to items um, especially if you love them but maybe just don't hold on to them in your main wardrobe if they're ill-fitting um, if they're really not your style anymore that's different but yeah I don't like the idea of getting rid of something just after one year of not wearing it. I just personally, I don't like that. <laughs> Something else is also possible. Maybe you still love an item. Maybe for one, I could love this dress, but I could maybe not like the length anymore. Maybe I want to have it a shorter dress, a mini dress instead of a midi length. It's always possible to get it tailored. Maybe you do it yourself if you can. If you can't, just find that one grandma in the neighborhood that's a wizard at tailoring. And yeah, and you can make your old clothes new again, fresh again, just by adding some little things. It's it's great. You don't get rid of it for the sake of it, okay? Don't do that. <laughs> One of my favorite dresses ever. I feel so beautiful in this. Um, I got it last year from Abercrombie and it's it's divine, this dress. It's, it's making me feel like I am the main character in a fantasy book and 
We all need more of that. <laughs> Some easy hacks or I guess essential for your wardrobe. One of them consists of having a lint roller to get any excess fabric, dust or hair off your clothes. I worked uh, at an office that had an office dog and I had to give a presentation that day and I wore an all black wool dress. I knew the office dog would be there. so. I took my lint roller with me and before the presentation I really quickly got rid of the dog hair and so yeah a lint roller I do think having one is essential especially if you have pets if there's any last minute fixes you need to do having a lint roller at hand is just really convenient I sent my friend I think a five minute voice memo on buttons I don't know what I was talking about but I basically was talking about the importance of buttons that having a good quality button really shows that your clothes are better quality and that if you sometimes replacing a button of a clothing garment can really elevate that garment so if you don't like uh, the buttons on our garments maybe you like the garment but not the button you can always get a spare one and kind of um, zhuzh it up and kind of add your own twist to it or make it feel a bit more elevated a bit more je ne sais quoi a bit more put together by just adding some nice buttons and i love having all my spare buttons in here if i need anything if one button gets loose it's i can find one in here and i don't know why it just makes me happy to look at my spare buttons i just think it's so cute just like i don't know i feel like a weird little goblin my trinkets you know <laughs> I'm really pleased with the way that this wardrobe looks so the main wardrobe is done let's continue to the other wardrobe right now all right all right now i brought you to my middle section of the wardrobe so this is currently <laughs> very miscellaneous i have some shorts here for one i'm picking this one up now uh, immediately this is also the way it normally is my wardrobe um i wear these in winter with tights underneath and in summer just as is because gotta love that so these shorts are not going anywhere that's for sure there's a few skirts in here that are for me more winter skirts maybe some other people would wear them in summer but i as a matter of fact would not this is for me more of a winter skirt this is actually a skirt that i used to wear in summer um but i don't know if i will I'm going to keep it here just in case. I was wondering if it's long enough for the office or not. I mean, it's quite long. I, I don't know. Either way, I'm just going to leave it here because it has potential for summer. I just realized you can't see what I'm doing at all. <laughs> Can you? <laughs> so over here, I have a pile. On this side of the wardrobe, I have the more wintry sweaters. One of them being a cropped winter sweater, cropped black sweater. Just wondering if... I should keep this here because I live in Belgium and although this is this is just stupid. Like, what am I saying? This is ridiculous. Um, I'll find something if I need something to layer, but not that. This could have potential because it has holes in it. Mm, but I think I would opt more for a vest if I want to wear something over it rather than for a big bulky sweater. And these are winter sweaters. I think I'm just kind of still stuck in this transitional period of time. Oh my god, I love I love this vest from Sandro. Love it. Winter sweater, turtleneck, 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 turtleneck. This is not a turtleneck, but it's a winter fabric. Turtleneck, turtleneck. I have a type. Red is one of the few colors that for a longer period of time I feel like looks good on me and I've been comfortable wearing so that's also not going anywhere I have to figure out how to organize this so this is one sleeve top one sleeve top the reason these tops are still in here even though they are a bit more um, summery I'd say is in case I'd go out that I'd have something to wear um, that doesn't really happen so going out isn't really something i do <laughs> um, i do like to go out and eat for like dinner or something but yeah partying it's just i don't know 
I'd rather read a book to be honest or just have time to talk with people and I find partying is just very restrictive you can't really catch up with anyone um, it can be fun though um, but it often really depends on if the music is your cup or tea or for, for me it is and I'm so particular with my music days it's kind of all over the place but also specific at the same time I feel like I'm happy with this arrangement we have my pajamas at the top the way I like it bags should we do bags as well shoes over there are all boots um, but I'm looking for new shoes actually because I'm a boot lover I that's summer shoes and me there's a pair of sandals that I've had for a long time that I actually do love but other than that I really feel like this year I narrowed and lost here I really narrowed down my style even better than before so yeah I'm just realizing how happy <laughs> I am yet again with my wardrobe and with everything I picked out and spent my money on um, it's just really fun to see it's small things that make me happy but yeah my clothes do make me happy my wardrobe does make me happy and I think it's really important to feel good and just try to enjoy life a little bit I don't really think much has to change here with bags um, I think everything is in order here yeah yeah everything is looking real good here I just realized that I do have to put a few more summer tops up here so I should do that next just getting real tired <laughs> We deserve a little break now, we deserve to relax now, we organize our wardrobes. If you had fun joining me today, feel free to subscribe. I would love to have you back. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you're doing well. Bye-bye.